Good day. My name is John Samuel Suico and I'm here to show a brief presentation of my undergraduate thesis. Quantum computers offer a different paradigm of processing information using the principles of quantum mechanics. The smallest unit of information in this paradigm is known as a qubit, which exists in a superposition of binary states ket0 and ket1, as opposed to a classical bit which can only be in either state 0 or state 1. This implies that n qubits gives us access to 2 to the n bits of information, offering new methods to tackle computationally hard problems. We consider a particular hybrid algorithm known as the variational quantum eigen solver, which minimizes the energy of a system using the variational principle of quantum mechanics. We study a single particle 1D harmonic oscillator, which models the physics of a particle in a parabolic potential trap. To work on a quantum computer, we discretize operators, representing them as matrices, and set h bar omega m to 1. The position operator represents a lattice of points with arbitrary precision determining the size of the matrix and accuracy of the approximation. To measure this on a quantum computer, the Hamiltonian is written as weighted sum of polystrings, or tensor products of poly and identity matrices. The polystrings are then measured over a parameterized ansatz, which is a quantum circuit composed of rotational and entangling gates. Each term in the polystring is measured separately over each qubit in the ansatz. And the eigenvalues are multiplied together and averaged over many repetitions of this process. The summation is then carried out in a classical computer, and the parameters are optimized in each iteration so as to arrive at the ground state energy. The results show that the VQE pipeline successfully minimized the energy, except for the position basis Hamiltonian in the 4 qubit ansatz, which struggled to converge. Studies like this lead towards better simulation of quantum materials in order to understand their properties. That is all, and thank you for listening to my presentation.